Oh no! What happened? Ah! Hey, what do you say my fellow weekend warriors? Today we're smoking up some trout. I've got six beautiful rainbow trout here. We're gonna do it in my pellet smoker. I've got the temperature set to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. That's where we're gonna start for the first half hour or so. Then we're gonna bump it up to 200 degrees. And I'm using the cherry blend pellets. Just pick some kind of a fruit wood that would go really good with this. And what I've done with the trout is I had my fishmonger go ahead and gut them, take the spine out. And then I put them in a simple brine. So I've got about six quarts of water here. I added one cup of salt. And then I added one cup of brown sugar. I put all six of my rainbow trout in there and then I let them brine for about two and a half to three hours. You could go all the way up to six hours if you want. And then after the brine, I take them out, I rinse them really well, I dry them off really well with some paper towels and then put them in the refrigerator for about an hour just to kind of dry out a little bit. And that's the point we're at right now. We're about ready to get them in the smoker. And hey, if you guys are new here, my name's Mike. I'm all about cooking outside. I love firing up that smoker on the weekend, trying out new recipes like this. I like to keep it simple. So if you're into that, hit that subscribe button and let's get into these smoked trout. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with my rainbow trout, just gonna move them off to the side there. We'll start with this guy. I'm gonna open him up, expose the meat, and then I'm just gonna rub a little bit of maple syrup on here. You can skip this if you like. I really like how the maple syrup tastes, especially with the smoke. I'm just gonna rub that in. Now the spine has been removed, but you still do have the pin bones in there. You'll feel them when you're rubbing them. And then just very gently, I'm gonna season it with some of this cookies all purpose. This is really good. And I'm going very light. And now we're gonna close them up. And I do put a little bit of maple syrup on the outside. Even though we're not eating the skin, I do feel like it helps hold in some smoke. So we're gonna do that. Just in case you fell asleep, I'll do one more for you with a close up. Open them up, give them a little bit of maple syrup, rub it in, just like that. A little bit of our all purpose seasoning. Close them up and just a little bit more maple syrup. And we'll do that on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna knock these other four out real quick. And all six of our rainbow trout are ready for the smoker. What I've done here, I've just taken some butcher string and made a fisherman's loop knot so we can hang these in the smoker. And what I'm gonna do here is we're just gonna wrap this around the head. The way these were prepared with the spine removed, we probably shouldn't do this because the head's gonna fall off. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways and hope for the best. And then the other thing we wanna do is get smoke inside of the cavity. So I'm just gonna take a cocktail stick just like this. And we're gonna throw them in the smoker just like that, so let's get them in there. And before we get them in there, let me show you my setup. So up here on the top setting, I have a rack, and then I've got some little metal hooks here that we make for uh, hanging fish. Down here, my water pan is full, and then I have another rack just above the water pan, just in case I lose a fish. Sometimes they do fall. I don't want it falling into the water pan if that happens. And so now we'll start hanging these. Just like that. And you can hang a lot of fish in this smoker. That guy right there. nothing to it. Get 
this last guy in there. All right, that's a pretty sight. We got six rainbow trout hanging in the smoker. Like I said before, we've got the cherry blend pellets in there. I've got the smoker set to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna let that go for about an hour. Then I'm gonna turn the temperature up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're looking at a total cook time somewhere between two and four hours, really. Usually two hours is enough uh, and you can take it all the way up to four, but we don't want fish jerky. That's not what this video is about today. We wanna to enjoy some nice, tender, smoky rainbow trout. So we'll come back when we turn the temperature up and see how it looks, I can't wait. All right, it's been one hour. Let's get this door open and see how they're doing. Oh no, what happened? I can't believe it. We're a perfect six for six. All the heads fell off. But you know what? I'm gonna do it anyways and hope for the best. And hope for the best. I had a feeling that was gonna happen the way they were prepped. Uh, that's why I put this great down here. No worries though, we're gonna go with plan B. And I'm just gonna raise this rack up. So I put in two brackets on the sides. And we'll just do this real quick. Bring them up. Let's get these heads over here. Just kind of lay these out the best we can. No big deal. Just not gonna look as cool when we put it on a plate. So let's see, one, two, three, four heads. That's a mystery. I'm not sure where the other two heads went, but uh, we'll find them. <laughs> So let's put this in. I'm gonna turn this temperature now up to 200 degrees. Let's get this door closed. And hey, this kind of stuff happens. You gotta be prepared for it. That's why I put that rack above the water tray. Otherwise, it would have been a ruined meal, really. But we're good. Just got it up there on the top. You improvise. Not every cook's gonna go perfect, so no big deal. Now we're gonna let this go for at least another hour, hour and a half, then we'll come back and check to see if it's done. And hope for the best. All right, we're coming up on about the two and a half, almost three hour mark. Let's get this door open and see if we're ready to go or not. So I can tell just by touching it, where I said earlier, the tails will be dried out. The flesh, you can already see it happening. We'll pull away from the skin just like that. So I'm ready to get these out of here and give it a taste test. All right, not bad. Two and a half hour cook, cherry smoke on our smoked rainbow trout. I gotta get a bite before the flies do, let's do it. All right, so what we like to do is actually turn this into a dip. So we'll remove all the skin and just get after the meat. And then we'll mix it up with some cream cheese and some capers put it on some pumpernickel bread or some crackers. And we'll go through that whole process, make sure we get all the bones out. But you can see how nice this meat is just pulling off. It's still nice and tender. You can see we got the smoke layer here with our rub. And I can't wait to get through all this. But uh, right now I, I gotta try a bite. It smells so good. Here we go. You can't beat it, smoked trout. Mm. The smoke, the maple syrup, that little bit of a rub, it tastes so good. It's milder than salmon if you've never had it. A little bit of a natural sweetness to it. Man, is that good. Hey, if you guys like what we're doing over here, hit that subscribe button right there. And you definitely got to check out one of those videos right there. And I'll see you over there. So simple. I can't believe I lost all six of those. <laughs>